but we're going to talk to our guest today because she is one of the most well-known documentary filmmakers in the country and there's no challenge too big for Stacey Dooley. She even took Strictly Ballroom by storm. Now she's back with a new podcast and a series that sees her sleeping over in some very strange places. Utterly fascinating, Stacey. Thanks so much for chatting to us. How Yay! are you doing this Bank Hello, Holiday Stacey. Monday? Hello. I, got caught, I got caught there. I was just checking my air out. I thought I had a cut. <laughs> Don't worry, you look lovely. fabulous as always. Um, that's from tonight's episode, isn't it? What was it like hanging out with the trad wives? Do you know, it was really interesting. And of course, you know, we're coming from totally opposite ends of the spectrum. But in essence, that's what the series is about. And I think it's really important and I think it's really healthy to have conversations with people you don't gravitate towards naturally. You know what I mean? I think arguably now, actually, we're probably more polarised than we've ever been. So I think, you know, sort of rational, respectful debate is, is worthwhile, yeah. That's what we do every day here, Stacey. Right. That's what we do. <laughs> you should come and join us one day. Um, uh, now, you've been doing this for quite some time now. Do you still get, I don't know, as passionate about these stories as you always have done? Yeah, I, you know, I never take it for granted that they're going to open the front door because really they don't owe us anything. So I'm always really thankful for that. Um, but I love my job. I love what I do for a living. And I feel I'm made up. Yeah, I feel really lucky. Thank you. Go Sorry. on. Daisy, can I just ask you, you know when you're going to these people's houses, yes. I've got OCD, right, and everything has to be really clean. What happens if you get to an house and it's a bit grubby? I heard earlier they were saying they call your place Bleach Towers. <laughs> I'm a bit like that with the kitchen. <laughs> so what if everything's upside down? Um, they've been, do you know what? I'm not really that highly strung, though. I can sort of... I can stay anywhere, really, cos I've been on location for years. Nothing's a real hassle. I think I'm all right most of the time. And how do they find the people that, that whose houses you're going to go to? I've got a really lovely gang. So I've got a really great production team who, you know, will go out and recce and have various conversations with loads of people. But this series, I'm, I'm delighted. We've got some really interesting families. So we've got the Trad Wives. We've got um, an Orthodox Jewish family. That access felt really privileged because I don't think we, we hear from that community enough. Uh, child model, we've got eco warriors, we've got um, a family with a lad called Lucas sure. who's got Down syndrome, um, and a guy with two lions and a puma off the M1. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> okay. Wow. I, I didn't see that one coming. Um, no, it's not just telly stuff that you're doing, you're also doing a, a new podcast called Fresh Star, isn't it? So you talk to people who are essentially making a, a, a fresh start, which is another really fascinating sort of route to, to get to know your interviewees. Yeah, we've got, so that starts tomorrow. That starts tomorrow. And our first lady, she's a girl called Tash, um, and she's, she's amazing. She's uh, learning to read. That's her fresh start. She's 44, and, you know, for various reasons, it never sort of quite worked out for her when she was younger. So I just I think it's really courageous, and I think it's... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased that she trusted us to tell the story. So, it's quite Stacey, mad. I know you're still <clears throat> really young, but if, you, if I suddenly said, right, magic wand, you've now got to make a fresh start, what would you do? God, uh, do you know what I'd quite like, and this was like everyone when the pandemic started, I was like, right, I'm going to be really productive in my time, I'm going to learn Spanish, because I can say about three sentences. Um, but I say that and then I never really put the work in, so I should, yeah, I should maybe try that. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, do you, is there ever um, a part of you that sort of thinks about where your career has gone thus far and is quite surprised in terms of the reaction that people had to you originally when you started doing these programmes? Oh, totally. Yeah, I can't quite believe it. I can't believe I haven't been found out yet. Yeah, riddled most of the time with imposter syndrome. Um, but then you've got to remind yourself, actually, if they didn't believe you were capable, they wouldn't have you in. So, Stacey, um, can I ask you, because you know that I've been a massive fan of yours. I used to tweet you after oh, all of your Stacey lovely. Dooley investigates because I just was obsessed. And I think your bravery and your compassion when you go into these, you know, really dangerous situations often. But obviously, since your huge success in Strictly that we all loved, it's brought you to the attention of, let's say, a more commercial audience. And with that has come, I guess, much more interested in your personal life. Have you found that a, a struggle? Or have you embraced it as just part of the course? Yeah, I did initially, Denise, and you've always been so lovely. Thank you so much. We've never really hung out properly. Um, but I did at the start. I think I just didn't realise that there would be such an interest, 
particularly, you know, who I fancy and who I'm sort of dating. I thought that was really dull for everybody else. Um, but I think now, you know, Kev and I have been together a couple of years. I think no one's really that fussed anymore. And we're so <laughs> done. And get him there with his beard. Um, I know. So I it's a bit of adjusting, doesn't it? But um, it all yeah. settles down in the end. Yeah. So do you? How we were talking there about we all like a bit of a nap. Well, me and Denise do. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever relax? Because you're you've got a really busy schedule. Are you very good at switching off when you're not working? Jen, I can nap anywhere. I can nap on the sofa if it's bright sunshine. If I'm in the car, I promise you, I'm. One time when I was younger, when I was tiny, my mum said there was um, a collision and we were in the back of the car and I slept through the whole thing. <laughs> I, I really feel for people that struggle with sleep because I, I, just, yeah. Yeah, I, can't, I can't relate. Now, we're going to be talking about um, uh, This Is My House Now because uh, you've been doing that alongside our Judy. For anyone that hasn't watched it yet, here's a, here's a clip. Uh, Stacey, for, uh, for the benefit of someone like Denise, who, who is yet to watch the show, I have, it's brilliant. Uh, tell us very quickly what it's about before we play the game. Uh, Judy's a scream, isn't she, very yeah. quickly. She's hilarious, <laughs> really hilarious. Really enjoyed with her. Um, but it's... So we go around... It's a really daft show. So we go around this house and then there are three imposters, three actors and a genuine homeowner. And it's not miles away from what I lie to you, so they're sort of walking about. <laughs> House, telling you, you know, where they got the table from, or they tell you about their um, partner, and you have to try and figure out. There's a panel; they have to try and figure out who's telling the truth. Okay, well, you were going to be the panel today, Stacey, and okay. we're going to show pictures of our homes, and then you've got to guess which loose hoose uh, belongs to who. So, are you ready, Stace? I'm ready. Yeah, can't wait. Okay, here's our first picture. OK, so this is my bathroom because I, I always like a really neutral space because I just want to relax in the bath and not have a busy space. Why are you lying? It's my bathroom. There's my grandchildren's toys there on the bathroom there. Can't see anything. Look, it's all minimal, how I like it. It's absolutely spotlessly clean. Well, actually, it's my bathroom, Stacey, because although I'm going really colourful through the rest of the house, I wanted the one place, the bathroom, to be very <laughs> tranquil and calm where my godchildren can come and have a lovely time. And actually, it's my house, Stacey, and all my children's rubbish is hidden away in the corner of the picture that you can't see. Oh! <laughs> I reckon... I reckon it's Linda's. Ah! We're not telling you now. We're going we're gonna to keep you in suspense. I'm glad you said we'll that, because I was just about to. <laughs> we'll go to the next picture. What about this one? Uh, ladies, tell Stacey why this is your loose... OK, thing. this is definitely my um, living room. Um, because I'm a journalist and I love to be surrounded by books, whether they're fake or real. No, this is my house, cos my husband runs a children's bookshop and we're full of books. Look, I can't say they're all kids' ones, but there's lots of books there. Well, my husband is an artist and he actually designed this wallpaper and it is hand-painted. Well, actually, Stacey, this is my house because, like Jane, I'm also a journalist and I wanted something that reflected uh, my work and my career. Right. I reckon, instinctively, I feel like it's Jane's. OK, we're going to move on to the next one. Right, uh, ladies, tell <coughs> Stacey why this house is yours. Uh, this is my bathroom, or my downstairs loo, actually. And um, green is my absolute favourite colour, as anyone who knows me would know. Um, so I thought, well, I spend most of my time in this room, so I'm going to paint it in my favourite colour. Well, my husband loves golf, so I thought I'd give it, like, a golf effect, so it looks like a green on a <laughs> golf course or whatever. And also my grandchildren, they had some saying it. And being half Irish, green's my favourite colour uh, too. Ah, OK. Well, actually, it's my downstairs toilet because, like I said, we are sick of the normal beiges and browns and greys that everybody has, so we wanted to go very colourful. And as an actor, I wanted a green room because that's been part of my life. Well, Stacey, this is my house. We've recently moved and I haven't had a chance to decorate it yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, the final picture, Stelt. No, tell us who you think that is first, Stacey. Is that a Charlene and Denise? Oh, you got to pick one. Um, Denise. OK, right, your final picture, Stacey. <laughs> Whose house is this? Yours. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that's completely right, Stacey, because I do. I am partial to a bit of lilac. Uh, you, you sell it, though, Denise. 
Yes, actually, no, this is my front room because I say I want the poppy colours going on all over the place. So we, we haven't completely finished it yet, but I've got, you know, started with the cornflower blue because that's Lincoln's favourite colour. No, it's actually mine and I don't really like it, if truth be known, but Gary um, is very good mates with Sharon Osbourne and she sort of <laughs> suggested the decor. Well, actually, this is my favourite house. I love this house. I love the lilac on the walls at the back there, the flowers, and lots of pictures of my grandchildren and my dog Ernie that we lost in oh. lockdown. And that. So, whose house. house is it, Stacey? Oh, I think it's yours. You think it's mine? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping that someone in my ear can remember all of your. So, number one. Maggie, um, did you give no, the end away? No, yeah. This yeah. one. You got that wrong, Stacey. That's my bathroom, oh. and those are my kids' toys on the bath on the on the bath there. Um, uh, number two, you said that this was Jane's house, and you would be correct. Yeah. And yes. um, number three, you said that this was Denise's house. You were stuck between whether it was mine or Denise's, and you were correct. Yay! And the final one that leaves, you thought this was mine, um, but it's not. It's Linda's. Okay. Yeah, so you got two out of four, so not too bad. Um, <laughs> but I rather enjoyed that, Stacey. Thank you so much. Um, okay. And good luck with the next episode, which is on tonight, which we'll all be glued to. And, and the podcast, of course, which uh, kicks off tomorrow, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, no, totally right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Lee. Stacey. Aww. See you, Stacey. Lovely to Bye. Bye. <laughs>